God's blessings. Obedient to what? To God's blessings. Obedient to God's blessings. Or blessing of obedience. Yesterday when I was teaching, and the Lord said, repeat this message today in the house, that the whole house will be blessed by it. But after today, one thing is very sure, that every of the obeying, obedient to the word of God, you begin to see the blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. You begin to see the blessings in the name of Jesus. First Samuel chapter 15 verse 22. He told so, why do you do this? Don't you know that obeying for obedience is better than sacrifice? Obedient. When you obey the word of God, you obey the word of God without discrimination. You obey the word of God without losing anyone, without missing anyone. You see the presence of God that we follow. Praise God. Bow down your head. Say, Father, give me the spirit and the grace to obey you. One thing in my life, I think what takes me to this level is total obedience to God's word. What takes me to this level is total obedience to God's word. Show me a man that is succeeding in anything you do. I will show you a man that obey God's principle and God's obedience. It's more than coming to church. It's more than bearing Christian name. It's more than sleeping in church. Obedient to God's word. Obedient to God's word. Everything you do, God has something to say. In every step you make in life, God has something to say. The reason why many people are suffering today in their marriage because you married the wrong person. You marry out of sentiment. When your erection begins to give you direction, you miss the ultimate of God. When your erection begins to give you direction, when you not take decision because of the problem, you take decision because of what is around you, you take decision because of what people are saying, without hearing from God, you miss the ultimate of God. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Never you take decision because of what people are saying. Don't take decision because of what you hear. Don't take decision because of what you see. Don't take decision because of pity. Praise God. For many marriages today that is collapsing, where there is no joy, because you marry out of sentiment, you marry out of pity. People are studying medicine in school, and you see them making it in the world. You say, I want to go and study medicine. And you are not good in those courses. You end up as a failure. Because you allow your erection to give you direction. Am I talking to you here? Anytime you allow God to take possession of you, anytime you allow God to take charge of you, a man of God pray a prayer in the Bible. What is the prayer? Oh Lord, if your presence do not go with us, do not carry me along. If your presence do not go with us, do not carry me along. In every decision, God has something to say. In every decision, God has what? Something to say. God has something to say. If you are in the wrong place, a right place at the wrong time, you end up as a failure. If you are in the right place at the wrong time, you end up as what? A failure. Allow God to direct your step. The Bible says, and the Lord order the step of the righteous. And the Lord order the step of the righteous. If God is your shepherd, a shepherd can never lead the flock to where they will be destroyed. A shepherd can never lead the flock to where they will die. He can never lead this, the flock to where they will sink. He can never lead them to where there will be earthquake. He lead them to Greenland pastor. That is why David said, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He made me to lie down in the green pastor. He leaded me beside the still water, not dry season. I pray today, though that we allow God to lead them, He will lead you beside the still waters. He shall restore your soul. I say, He shall restore what you have lost. He shall restore your marriage back. He shall restore your destiny back. He shall restore it. Let the water shout hallelujah. Please, if you are there, read for me. Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse number 1. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all these commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations. Wait there, the wait there. And I will say, and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken. The meaning of hearken means if thou shalt listen. Some people have ears, they cannot listen. They have ear but cannot hear. Anything they hear from the pulpit, it will enter here and come out from here. It is not their fault, it's satanic spirit. They are making not to hear. You can be in church and nothing enters your mind. Because when the message was going on, your heart was traveling. When the message
say was going on, Satan occupies you with other issues. When message was going on, your heart was telling you of your problem. And you don't know when the word will drop. And he will know the truth. And the truth will make you feel. What is the truth? The word of God. Am I talking? Am I talking to you this morning? Listen to me. Deliverance is not being conducted. Deliverance is being preached. As I'm preaching, and the word that I tell you, that is deliverance. It will modify your heart. It will change your orientation. It will direct your step. The word of God. He said, if you will hack it, if you will listen, unto diligently, unto the voice of the Lord, unto the voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord is the word of God. And to observe, not just to listen, not just to hear, and to observe, to do it, not to the hearers, but also the doer. I pray for you today. God will give you the grace to hear and to do and to obey the word of God. Stand your feet, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The commandment which I command thee this day, the first Sunday of July 2023. The commandment which I command thee this day, which is today, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above the nation. What will make you to be above is to obey God's instruction. What will make you to be unique among your mates is to obey God's ordinance, is to obey God's words. What will make you to, to be unique, to stand out in the midst of your equals, in the midst of your men, is obedient to God's word. Obedient to God's word. Read verse 2 for me. And all these blessings shall come on you. All these blessings. There is a qualification, not everybody. There, is, there are people who have set themselves aside. Who say, either God bless me or not, I will obey him. I am married or not, I will obey him. I will say, yes, some of them, I have money or not, I will obey him. I have children or not, I will obey him. Look at the blessings. He said, all this blessing, not the one. God is not 99 point nine. God is 100 over 100. 99.9 to God is a failure. 99.9 to God is what? Failure. All this blessing. God cannot bless your head and leave your business. He cannot bless your business and leave your children. Ay, ay, ay. When God wants to bless a man, he blesses everything about you. I stand on this exalted altar and I make a decree. Anywhere they rub on your blessings, if you can obey me today, your blessings shall be restored. I say your blessing shall be restored. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All these blessings. All these blessings. Ladies and gentlemen, it's only God that have that give you blessing without soul. When God blesses you, he blesses everything that concerns you. When God blesses you, you will sleep and open your door down. God blesses you may not be too much billions in your account. But peace of mind is there. It is better to drink curry and granola and have peace than to eat fried rice and chicken without peace. Glad for Jesus. The reason why God, God must give you excess blessing because He gives you blessing for you to bless others. Yes, sir. When God blesses you, it's not for your family alone. You know? There are people that cannot succeed until you succeed. There are people that cannot be blessed until you are blessed. Because you're giving to them, your, they are succeeding. It's waiting for your makeup. The Bible says, for the endless expectation of this creation, are waiting for the manifestation of the children of God. God wants you to succeed so that others will succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, if you fail, some persons will fail. If you succeed, some person will succeed. Say, oh Lord, use me to eradicate poverty in my family. Lord, use me to eradicate poverty in my family. Read on. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this one. Amen. He said, Blessed shall thou be in the city. Amen. There is a standard set aside for it. What is the standard? Obeying God's word. What is the standard? Obeying prophetic dimension. What is the standard? Obey the status and the law of God. He said, Blessed shall thou be in the city. Don't you read the Bible from the middle. Read the Bible from the beginning. Hey, if you will act and obey and do, he said, Blessed shall thou be in the city. He didn't say you pray, just 
obey. He said, Blessed shall thou be where? In the city. In the city of Benin, you shall be blessed.